All right, let's add some loops to your project, but not Fruit Loops. Although I am hungry now. All right, so let's go ahead and add some loops to our existing synth um, project that we have open here. And we all know how to access our loop library. And if, just in case you don't, it's this I button guy right here. Just give that a click and it opens. All right, we're gonna focus on these two buttons right here at the top. This uh, musical icon one and the column icon one. Let's take a look at this music one first. <clears throat> now this kind of categorizes things and takes things away according to what you click on. So this first column we have is, it breaks things down genre wise. So rock, blues and urban and world and and so on and so on. So let's say if I click on rock, it takes away everything else that we don't need and leaves everything um, that's related to rock and blues. So, and then the next column we have instruments and that works the same way. So if we hit kits, for example, it takes out everything that's not a kit. Um, I'm gonna click that. And then these next two columns are just the type of sound that the instrument is. So if we just wanted to narrow down our search. Um, now I don't really like this particularly for my personal choice. I don't like to choose my loops um, selecting this style. I, I go by the columns and I think this is just way cleaner and for some reason I feel like the other ways it, it limits me. And uh, I say that because if I were to hit instruments it just gives me a list of all the instruments and then if I were to hit let's say bass it gives me a list of all the bases and I just I don't I don't think if you're creating I don't think you should be limited to anything but anyway um, I was gonna add some what was I adding I was adding keyboard 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 there we go keyboard and let's go down to intense and I think the one that I looked up before because I previewed it beforehand was the 303 pattern. Let's take a listen to that. Okay, and as I, whoops, and as I said before, before you add them in, you want to preview them with the song so, so you can make sure that, that it works. Let's go ahead and preview it. You just give it a click, it takes a second to load, and there you go, and it kicks in. And then you can stop and be like, okay, so all you have to do is click, drag, bring it all the way to the beginning of the timeline, and GarageBand does all the work for you. It automatically makes a new track, it gives you an icon, it names it, and automatically lines it up with the timeline, so you don't have to do really any work. It's super simple. All the work that I have to do is go to the top right here, the loop button. You all know how to do that from the previous videos. Click and drag so it reaches all the way to the end of my loop, and that's it. I'm good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Show me that you